Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Emunan source in WeFlow. And I'll also walk you through connecting it to your WiiWare and Virtual Console titles, just like you see here with the cover art. This is something a lot of you have wanted me to make, so let's dive right in and I'll show you just how easy it is to get everything set up. Okay, so to start things off, there's only two things you're going to need for today's tutorial. The first one being your SD card for your Wii, and the second one being a USB flash drive or USB hard drive. If you followed my videos in the past, you probably have both those things already set up. If not, I'd recommend you give it a watch. But continuing on, let's go ahead and head over to our downloads. There are three sites that we're going to be looking at here today for our downloads. The first one being Modme. So if we scroll down to the bottom, you just have an option for your language. I'm going to be doing English. Next link we're going to be grabbing is the nswitch 2.2.rar. This is an application that's going to let us launch from our real NAND into our emulated NAND once it's created. Go ahead and grab this. And then the last one being show me wads, which I'll go over when the time comes. You just got to grab the view raw file here. And when everything's done, let's head over to our downloads folder. All right, so I have my downloads folder over here on the right and my SD card over here on the left. We're gonna start off by opening modmeinstaller.exe. Go ahead and open this up. This application is known to be triggered by uh, antivirus programs and stuff like that. Mine will probably get triggered, but we'll go over that when that happens. Uh, which by the way, there's no virus. Uh, just hit next. It's gonna install it to your C drive, hit next. Uh, you can create a desktop icon or a start menu folder. I don't really want the start menu folder. I'll do the desktop icon, hit next. And see how it says could not extract file modmeskin.exe. I think this is what gets picked up at least by my antivirus program. If this happens to you too, just hit ignore. Everything else should install just fine. Go ahead and hit finish. And it should open up. Let me just drag this over here so you can see. And now before we even continue, just want to make note here that it says, please type the word I followed by the word agree with a space between those two words and then press enter to continue. If you can't follow those instructions, then you have no business modding anything. And uh, true enough statement. So I agree and then hit enter. Now, what we're going to be doing is building our emulated NAND. So you can see option S right here for sneak installation. This is the Emunan Builder, Modifier, and Game Bulk Extractor. So go ahead and go down to the bottom, type S, and then hit Enter. Next up, you have a couple of other options. Which of the following sneak actions would you like to perform? Sneak installation, emulated NAND builder, or all of the above? We actually want all of the above, so hit 3 and Enter. Next up, select the version of Neek 2.0 you would like to build, and I'm going to select option 1 here for 96. Next up, what type of sneak would you like to install? And I'm going to be doing this on a USB hard drive, so for me, that's going to be UD. You do have the option of doing this on an SD card, I'm just not covering that here today. Uh, but I'm going to be typing in UD. After that happens, it's going to say enter the drive letter or path to save files to your SD card. There's a default path already set to this for ModMe, so we don't need to change this. Go ahead and hit enter, just leave it blank. And once again, hit enter, leave it blank. The next option you have here is what region would you like to make your emulated NAND? And since I'm in the US, I'm gonna do option U. What system menu version would you like your sneak emulated NAND to be? My normal system version is version 4.3, so that's what I'm gonna be doing here. And then it's going to ask you if you want it to install a bunch of applications for you, like the Homebrew Channel and Post Loader Forwarder. We're going to be hitting yes to most of these, so let's do Y for this. Would you like to install CIOS 249? Hit Y for yes. Would you like to install no more memory cards? Hit Y for yes. Would you like to install Preloader? Hit Y for yes. Would you like to install WeFlow? Hit Y for yes. What serial number would you like to use to create the setting.txt file? So now the serial number is located on the back of your Wii. You could use the default serial number here, or if you have yours on hand, you can type it in. I know mine, so that's gonna be LU5024326374 for me. Again, this would be underneath your Wii console. Go ahead and hit enter. Would you like to install a custom theme to your Wii? No, I'm good on that. Hit N for no. Would you like to install any of the following channels? Hit N for no, because I don't care about the photo or internet channel, or anything on my emulated NAN. You're about to install Neek 2.0, Unique, DI, Rev96, and build the 4.3U emulated NAND. 
Now, right here, it's gonna ask you if you have any WADs you wanna install and where the default path for that is. You can see temp WAD. So if you have your virtual console or WiiWare titles, we're gonna be putting them in that folder. So let me show you how to get there. If I go here, we're gonna go over into this PC, local disk C, mod me, temp folder, and then we have an empty WAD folder right here where we can place all of our files. Now I have a folder on my desktop already with the WADs I'm gonna be using, so let me show you what I have. So for WiiWare, all we're gonna do is just highlight everything, copy it, and paste it over into the WAD folder. And if you have any virtual console titles, it's the same exact thing, just copy everything and paste it over into that folder. Let me can minimize this, head back over to mod me, and now we're gonna type in Y to continue, and this should start building our emulated NAND and installing our WAD files. So give this maybe, at least for me, about five minutes or so, and I'll be right back. Okay, when everything's done, you should have a text file that pops up telling you everything that was installed. You can go ahead and exit out of that. And we're also good with mod me now, so we can exit out of this as well. Now from the mod me folder that we opened earlier where our WADs were kept, we can back up. You should have two new folders called copy to SD and copy to USB. We're gonna be transferring those into their respective folders. So once again, I have my SD card over here on the left. I'm gonna open up copy to SD and we're gonna take not everything from here, but quite a few files from here. So we need the uh, Neek 2.0 booter. We need the app folder here. We don't need the WeFlow folder since we already have one. Um, we don't need the WAD folder. We do need the sneak folder. We do need the P loader folder. We do need the boot me neek folder. And uh, we'll do the apps folder last. So let's just toss in what we have so far, these five folders, let that transfer. And then go into the apps folder. Once again, we don't need everything. So we're gonna take the yet another WAD manager mod. You might already have this, but this one is specific, I think for the uh, Immunand. So we're gonna grab this. Uh, we're also gonna grab this one and this one. We don't need the WeFlow folder because we should already have one. And then we can take these three folders and transfer them into the apps folder on our SD card. After that's done, we can go ahead and open up our hard drive and then we'll continue from here. I'm gonna go back, copy to USB. And this has two folders, the NANS folder and the sneak folder. I'm not sure why the sneak folder comes out capitalized, but it shouldn't be. So you need to rename it to sneak lowercase. After that, highlight both and transfer it onto the root of your USB drive. All right, once that's done, we can head back over to our SD card, and then we're gonna head back over into our downloads folder. Next up, we have the nswitch 2.2.rar. We're gonna right click this and hit extract to. And inside of this, you should just have the boot.dol file. You're gonna toss this into your apps folder on your SD card. And what this application is gonna do again is take you into your emulated NAND from your real NAND. And now we're pretty much all set with everything. But before we return to the Wii, I just wanna show you one more thing. So let's say while you were doing the mod me installer, you didn't do all the wads that you wanted, or maybe you just realized later on down the road there was five that you missed or whatever it may be. This application here called Show Me Wads will let you add wads into your emulated NAND that we already created. So let's go ahead and right click this, go to extract to, open this up, and we have Show Me Wads Win64, at least that's for me. Might be Win32 for you. Uh, I accept, whatever, take no risk, hit okay. And all we have to do here is go over into options and go to change NAN backup path. And then we're gonna select what we put on our hard drive. So for me, that was Wii HDD. And that's gonna be in the NANS folder. And this folder here that says PL underscore US, that's the folder we want. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm assuming the US is your region, so it might say EU or something else for you. And uh, after you hit that, go over to view, go to show me NAND and then just give this a second to load. Once it's loaded, it should have everything that's installed on your current Emunan. You can see like Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Red, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, stuff like that. Now, if you wanna add things to this, go over to File, Open Folder. And again, I have my WADs on my desktop and I actually have a folder called One WAD just to show you guys this. So if I open this folder up and then go over to View, go to Show Me WADs, you can see the one wad that I had was Tetris Party. And if we wanna transfer it over to the NAND, we right click it, go over into Extract, go to To NAND. And this should only take a second or so. After that happens, go to View, Show Me NAND one more time, 
And if we scroll to the bottom, you can see I have Tetris Party here now. And that's pretty much it if you want to add more wads later on down the road. So let's go ahead and take the hard drive out, the SD card out, and head back over to the Wii. Okay, so now we're back on the Wii. You can see I have my games here. I'm in my arcade section currently. But I want to show you guys just how to access the NAND and MU NAND. So if I go ahead and go to the homebrew icon right here, this is what cycles you through the homebrew channel and then your Wii games, which I don't have any in right now. GameCube games, again, I don't have any in right now. Uh, the next title, you can see real NAND. Now, how do we get over to our emulated NAND? Go ahead and hit the B button, which will open the source flow menu. We're going to select the Wii menu from this selection. Go over to the left until you find WiiWare and Virtual Console Emu NAND. Open that up. And now it's going to tell you no titles found in USB 2 NANDs, where, basically where it should be. Now, since I have mine on my hard drive, I'm going to go over to Settings. Go over to the second page under Startup Settings. Hit Go. You want to make sure Mount SD Card Only is set to No. Then after that, head over to Page 1 under NAND Emulation Settings. Hit Set. Go to page two, and right here where it says EmuNAND's partition, it says SD currently. We're gonna switch this over to USB 1. I don't think it matters between USB 2 right now for me since I only have one thing plugged in in the same spot. So USB 1 will work for me. Then I'm gonna go back, and right here where it says select NAND default, we're gonna go over and you should have that option for PL underscore US from earlier. So go ahead and hit the back button, back button again, and let's see what happens. It looks like it's picking up our titles here, so just give it a moment. Okay, so we have our games populated in the emulated NAND. Uh, looks like only one really has a cover right now, which is Wii Flow. If you wanna get more, you can hit the home button, go to settings, download covers and banners, hit go. And for covers, hit download. And it'll download all this straight from the network. So just give this uh, probably about two or three minutes for me, and I'll see you soon. Okay, it's finished, and it looks like it didn't grab all of the cover art, so we'll see what it looks like here. But it did look like it grabbed most of it. I wonder which ones it didn't grab. Let me go see. But everything does look pretty nice. One thing I will say, too, if you want to make note, uh, the WiiWare games all have a custom jingle where you open them. But the Virtual Console titles just have a generic one. That's pretty cool. Like, if I head over to Excite Bike, it's probably... Yeah, I like that. But anyways, there's one more problem we have before we even try playing any of these games. By default, when you launch into your EmuNAND for the first time, your Wii remote is not going to work. You're gonna have to sync it up and stuff like that. So if you were to start a game right now, the game probably wouldn't let you have any control over your remote and might not even let you sync it in that menu. So we need to first load over into our EmuNAND and sync up our controls. We can do that right from Wii Flow. So let's go down to the corner here. And we're just going to be shifting over to other tabs until you get back to your homebrew tab. Now, since this is a new application that we added in, we're going to hit the home button and go to reload cache. And now we're going to scroll through the list and look for it. It should be the, in the, uh, the ends. There it is. End switch 2.2. So we're going to open this up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say one more thing while I'm here too. If you don't like how you don't have cover art for the homebrew channel, you can hit settings. Uh, let's see, head over to page 12 for homebrew settings, go to set, cover flow small box, hit on, go back, and now it's going to give us some cover art for some of these things, but it's not going to be like the uh, box titles, they're all going to be like little rectangles now, but at least they have icons. If you don't like that, you can just head back over to settings, uh, again, page 12, homebrew settings, and turn that off, but it is an option for you guys should you want it. Anyways, uh, let's open up the end switch 2.2, hit play. And once again, this will launch us right into our EmuNAND. For the first time you load this though, it might take a little bit to get in there. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe about two minutes or so. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so now from the start, like I was saying, your Wiimote probably won't work. And you would do this just like normal. You can go ahead and hit the uh, sync button on the back of the Wii remote, as well as the sync button on the front of the console. Once your remote syncs up, it's going to be just like you're setting up your Wii for the very first time. Go ahead and go to English or set whatever language you are. Uh, mine is above TV. Hit confirm. It's going to ask for the date. And for me right now, that is 12-2-24. Uh, oh, man. That <laughs> feels weird to scroll up that far. Uh, hit confirm. And the time right now is 5 52 confirm 
four by three is fine. Console nickname, R2, do you, hit okay, confirm. Now I gotta select my country, which is all the way at the bottom, United States, hit okay. Parental controls, hit no, hit okay. And now once we start this up, we should have all of our WAD files right there on the home menu. And you can see we do. Now the only downside to this, if you choose to play games this way, you are stuck to the, I believe, 48 title limit here. Versus looking at things through WeeFlow, you can have up to 200 plus or way more than that. Um, if you wanna structure this, you can do it through, I believe, my menuify to make the 48 expand into something else, but that's something for a whole different video. Um, but for now, now that our remote is synced, let's go ahead and head back over to WeeFlow by just restarting our console. And once we're back in here, I'm just gonna head back over into the MUNAN. So just give me a second while I navigate through this. And we're gonna change one more thing before we start anything. So if I go over, for example, let's just choose the uh, Bomberman Blast, for example. If I were to open this up and then decide, okay, I'm done playing with it and I exit out of it, by default, it's gonna take you back into the system menu. So if we open up these settings here, we're gonna go over into page four for return to channel. See where it says disabled? If we go over, once we leave, it'll return us back into the WeFlow channel. So let's hit back and we'll start up Bomberman just to test that out. You can see it booted up pretty instantaneously. I will say though, if some of your wads don't work, you're stuck on a black screen, you can tinker with the settings and change like the iOS type and stuff like that. Gonna hit uh, no for now. Anyways, you can see this is working, but if I go ahead and hit home and exit out of this, the Wii menu, it should take us back into WeeFlow. And then I'll just show you about those settings that I'm talking about before I uh, wrap up this video. All right, you can see here it's taking us back to WeeFlow. You actually have the icon loading up here in the center. And like I was saying, if you're having problems with your WiiWare titles or anything like that, and you open it, you get stuck at a black screen, you can go to the settings of the game of your choice and you can actually force the iOS type. You can do tons of things like maybe by chance you're playing a PAL WAD that you installed. You can force the video mode on your system to be PAL. So that might help you out. Uh, just a couple of things you can try. That's pretty much it for me. I think I covered just about everything that I can. If you guys have any comments, leave me something down below. I'll try to respond to you guys to the best of my ability and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios. Thank <music> you.